Junior Saunders weighing in at 135 pounds. In the Batson weight division, 22 years of age, standing at 5 foot 6 inches, representing BFA Charles Gracie Academy. Seventh amateur bout of the evening, Kieran Saunders versus Kevin King. John Cole, our referee, and our first of a possible three two-minute rounds, just about underway here. Kieran Saunders, Kevin King. Nice exchange of leg kicks here. Kieran Saunders representing his home country of Ireland, and we are hearing it from the crowd tonight. Looking for a takedown right away is Saunders. Kevin doing a nice job defending. Oh, Kevin does a beautiful job utilizing that cage to get out of that clinch position. That's some high-level grappling. Yeah, Levy got left on his way out. Good fight IQ by Kevin. Big right hand by Saunders. Oh, Saunders goes down! Perfectly timed uppercut. Kieran Saunders bounces right back up. That was a beautiful timed uppercut. Two of the hard. highest level amateur fighters here tonight. Saunders gets the takedown, looking to pass the guard of Chambliss. Yeah, that was a well-executed uh, lat drop takedown from Saunders. Absolutely. Now he's working towards the mount position. Kevin's doing a nice job of utilizing that closed half guard. Saunders looking for a choke now. Nice transition to the back from Saunders. These guys are both very comfortable with their grappling abilities. Definitely some very high level grappling on the show. Oh, big leg kick. That's Saunders, and he needs two more right hands from Kevin. Kevin is looking too off here. Kevin's a heavy hitter. Head kick is back. Ten seconds to go here in round number one. What an exciting first round by these two Bantam plays. Non-stop action all through that round. Some very good grappling exchanges. I think uh, Chapman has definitely got the upper hand uh, as far as the stand-up game went. However, Saunders may have done a little bit more as far as the grappling to control most of that round there. So it's going to be interesting, definitely interesting round for the judges to score. Saunders coached by Coach Eric, Coach Cristiano of Baffa, Charles Wrigley. In the corner of Kevin, Combat Fitness. Very well-known gym. Oh, Kieran Saunders catches that kick. Nicely timed takedown. Man. Earns himself the top position. Now he's looking to set up a rear naked choke. Kieran Saunders is taking the back of his opponent. Dropping bombs. Those are hard, hard shots landing. 
So far, Kevin doing a nice job defending. Pops back up. Good hand fighting by Kevin. He's got that underhook. Utilizes it well. That was textbook grappling by both men, both offensively and defensively. Absolutely. They're going to stand up and continue to strike. Oh, nice knee landed there by Saunders. Minute to go now in round two. Oh, huge overhand right by Kieran Saunders. Followed by a right of Kevin's. Big leg kick. Saunders able to turn it into a takedown. Will he take it back again? He won't. Oh, big combination lands by Kevin. I gotta tell you, man, this is a very uh, even matchup here. This is about as good as amateur fighters get here in California. Ten seconds to go in round two. One of the most action-packed fights of the night here. And we're hearing it from the crowd. Saunders looking for one last takedown of the round. And I don't think the judges will consider that a takedown. What a fight so far. Definitely a good fight uh, between these two Vance and Wake fighters. Putting on an MMA clinic here at John Lowe's Cage Fight Series 1. And everything these guys have done so far, they've done incredibly well. Yeah, you can tell they're both very well trained, very high level grapplers, as well as striking. It's very good striking here by both of these fighters. Yeah, the fight IQ on display tonight for both these guys. Obviously, Sa Saunders coming from a, a Charles Gracie background, we expect, we expect him to grapple to be top notch. But uh, as far as Kevin goes, he's also done a great job on the ground. Two minutes remain between Kieran Saunders and Kevin James. These guys are wasting no time in any of the three rounds so far. Saunders looking for that takedown again. Very nice setup. That threw single that. leg takedown has been there all night for Kieran Saunders. Yeah, I like the way he set it up. He threw that overhand right and immediately shot uh, when Chambers went to block. He was able to get that single. Saunders is a little bit high. That was smart of Saunders to bail out of that position. He knew he was a little bit too high and risk getting swept by Kevin. Nicely, very nice job of executing that single leg. Kevin's looking for that sweep. It's just not there yet. But he continues to transition well on the ground here. Saunders in a superior position on the ground. Let's see if we might see a submission attempt here. Nice hammer fist. Saunders steps back into half guard. 30 seconds to go in this fight. Saunders takes the back once again. Hasn't been able to set up a choke yet. Kevin's doing such a nice job of controlling that hand whenever Saunders takes the back. Yeah, and as a result, he always ends up back on his feet. Now there's very little time left to work. Big right hand. Saunders goes down. Kevin doing everything he can to last, last minute strikes. Oh. Saunders ends up on top once again. What a nicely uh, single leg trip there executed by Saunders there. Ten to go now. Fight will go the distance. What a great fight. What a great fight between these two Benson Wake Warriors. Incredible, incredible fight by both men here. I don't know, it was back and forth in all three rounds. Um, incredible fight between the proud Mexican American and the Irishman. Here's Juma Muhammad once again. 
to the official about. decision. It's absolutely amazing fight. Give it off to both of these fighters. Saunders will win by unanimous decision. Comes as no surprise, man. That, that third round, that third round definitely was a side, of, a side of factor, if you ask me. First two rounds were close. But that third round, Saunders uh, definitely almost pretty much dominated that round with those takedowns.